Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my new blog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life, because that just seems to suit who I am. So anyway, I'm coming to you today from a room I, I don't think I filmed in be here before. This is actually when Mr. Griffin comes over. This is his daytime room because he can lay here on the bed and look right out that window over there and see what's going on in the street. Otherwise, if he's on my bed um, in my room, then I just look out into the back. So unless someone's coming out of the woods, he's got nothing to look at. It's pretty boring in my bedroom. This room is, good, is where all the excitement is, according to Mr. Griffin. But anyway, I have got a glass of wine. I've got my Dear Garden blush, so it's probably like a rosé type wine. So anyway, I'm going to have a sip. Or maybe it's more like a Zinfandel. I forgot. Maybe like a cross between the two, but it is very good. So anyway, I've got a like a TV tray on my bed, so I'm not sure um, how it's going to work for recording. So I'm probably going to try to keep it quick because otherwise it's probably going to be bouncing around. But anyway, I'm starting my vlog with a new pair of pajamas. Yeah, so I've got these um, Mucklock pajamas in, and these ones I wasn't going to get them, but they kept calling my name because they had wine bottles on them. I thought. How appropriate is that for me to open my blog with a pair of pajamas with wine bottles? So I'm just going to get comfortable here. So it's going to probably move around until I get situated again. But anyway, so not too much going on this week um, that I know of anyway. So um, started today, Saturday. Um, I actually worked at, at home um, about four hours today. And I know I said I wasn't going to do that for my stress, but I work so much on my phone, my iPhone, well, it's a Samsung, uh, yest yesterday when I lost the internet that I had given a lot of verbal quotes and I placed orders. So I needed to get them, now that the internet was back up, I had to get that back up and get it into the accounting software. So that, um, yeah. So I did about four hours worth of work just doing what I did verbally yesterday. So that was a lot of work. And, um, Let's see. Then I needed to, I had done some filming last night, so I didn't have the internet to upload it. So I ended up doing my um, Ipsy Glam Bag X. Yeah, that was an awesome, awesome box, just saying. Um, yeah, so I'm look, really looking forward to the next one in May. And yeah, it was an incredible, incredible value. Um, I have no idea how my box got up so high, but it was like $652 worth of product for $55. So that was really awesome. I'm actually using the uh, palette that came in there, um, the Huda Beauty palette. So I'm not sure if it's coming up, but I've got the uh, pink shades on. And then I used the uh, blush that came in it, the uh, Patrick Ta RTA uh, blush. So I've got that on. So, I uh, guess yeah, so I think that's really a nice color for me. And uh, so I worked about six hours on YouTube just kind of watching videos and commenting. And of course, I uploaded the um, my vlog from last week because I had taped Friday last night, got that uploaded today, and uploaded the Glam Bag Plus today. So that's good. I pretty much caught up. I've still got that Wheaties box from like two months ago, my mystery box. Yeah, so I might, I might do that this week just to kind of get that done, put it away. Um, my, my Ellie um, Fitness out there, I think that fills on the 23rd, so I probably won't see it next week, but I probably see it the week after. And I got to check on my Stitch Fix, so um, I extended the checkout because um, about two weeks ago, right after I got the box, and I was thinking, oh, maybe it's five for five. And uh, yeah, it was coming uh coming home and i went to step on the brake and i could kind of feel it kind of like digging in so i'm thinking i need brakes so i might have to get that done and then i was going to go out last last week but then um, i worked from home on monday and then i was sick so i didn't get to go out so i need to see how much money I'm, i need to spend on my car before i buy any clothes so definitely probably not going to be a five for five because I know I need some breaks it just kind of depends on how much money it's going to be so the only thing I'm leaning towards keeping in that box is either the black jeans or the earrings because the earrings are cheaper but I've got a lot of earrings that I wear from the touchstone crystal so do I need them do am I really going to pull for them but I would wear the black jeans which is more money 
So that's kind of where I'm in. It's not going to be a five for five. I mean, there are things that I liked, but sometimes the budget kind of makes up your mind for you. Yeah. And as much as I like the fit on that floral top, I really don't think I'm going to pull for it because I like the fit of it. I mean, if that was just like a solid, like a nice pink or a teal or, you know, any other solid color, I really like that style. So I would probably buy it, be leaning more towards keeping that if it was a solid and not a floral. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I will probably... Um, do a face mask on Monday, but I probably won't record it again, and that just kind of gives me I don't have to do another video and worry worrying about being so far behind, and I can instead spend that time that I would be doing making my video and uploading it and whatever. I can spend that time watching other videos and getting some comments done. So, uh, yeah, I think I'd rather do that. Uh, Wellness Wednesday, I may or may not do anything. My back is feeling so much better. So I may just kind of maybe sit and chat and just do a little recap on what's going on without taking too much time. Maybe just show a little bit of arm work or something um, that I've been doing just to kind of keep up with the theme of Wellness Wednesday and let them know how my book reading is going. So that'll be that. And then we'll just see what happens during the week. So going to try to keep it short this week and I just want to thank everyone for joining me. Your support is amazing. I love each and every one of you and I am so blessed to have you in my life. I hope everyone goes out, has a fantastic week and we will chat again soon. Bye-bye. Hi everyone. Welcome to Friday. I cannot believe that I'm still sitting here. Yeah, I, I'm pooped. I am probably going to fall asleep during the video. I have been yawning worse than Rebecca from Southern Bells ever has. And I'm very noisy when I yawn. It's almost like I'm singing a song in the shower. Is that off key? But anyway, oh, I work from home all, all week this week. It was pretty fun, yeah. And, and, and it wasn't that I was sick, and it wasn't that I had, my back was bothering me or anything. It was, you know, after last Friday when I lost the power and people ignored me. Yeah, I just didn't feel like going in. So I work from home every night this week. And, um... Three nights I work till 11 o'clock. I work till 11 o'clock again tonight. And yeah, and it's, oh uh, my God, it's 11.58 now. Ugh. So yeah, because I just kind of went and kind of had a cup of coffee before I came on, hoping I would still stay awake for you. And yeah, so I'm tired. And I worked one night, I think, till nine. And one night, it was like five o'clock. I just, I couldn't do it anymore. And um, so I put, uh, was in the mood for some progressive suit. So I put some in a Tupperware container, you know, those little ones with the lid and the thing to let some steam out. I put it in the microwave. I sat down on the couch, never heard the microwave go off. So I probably was asleep by quarter after five, and I slept straight through till seven in the morning. Yeah. I usually have, maybe every now and then I have a, a day that I crash like that, but it's usually on the weekends. But never during the weekday, so that was, that was odd. But anyway, it did feel good when I got up the next morning and realized what day it was. And um, yeah, and because I was working from home this week and um, last weekend, I said, oh, you know, I was, I was going to have a glass of wine. And I thought, well, you know, I really am in the mood for the strawberry jalapeno wine. But then I thought, well, you know, I really like to share that with people at work. And then I thought, yeah, I'm mad at them. So I'm going to drink my own wine. So I had a glass of wine almost every day this week. Um, after my coffee, so I still got about half a bottle left because, well, you know, I don't, I don't fill the glass. I might just put it to here or something. So then I decide, well, you know, I might as well order some because, you know, I'm going to get over it and I'll go back in and I'll bring my bottle. So I thought, well, you know, I'm going to be home this week anyway. I might as well order from the Purple Toad Winery because, you, well, you don't really have to sign for it anymore. You just kind of confirm that what your name is. And then, you know, they just have to leave it and make sure you're an adult. So anyway, I got three bottles of wine. And uh, Purple Toad Winery ships to a lot of states. They're out of Kentucky, Pacadua or something like that, Kentucky. And uh, just it just seems like a really small shop. I would love to go and visit there someday. So um, they, they do do wine tastings and they have like events and things like that. And I really like the sweet wines. They do have some dry wines and things like that, but I do like sweet wines. So they have free shipping when you spend $40, and all the bottles are like $13, $44, right around there. So I got three bottles of wine, so that brought me up to my $40, and I got a t-shirt to go with it. 
So I got free shipping. I ordered it Tuesday night. I was in the mood, so I ordered it Tuesday night. And it shipped on Wednesday. And here it is Friday. And I have my purple toad winery. So anyway, I just thought I would kind of open it and show it to you. But I uh, had a snafu when I was opening it. So I had to cut that footage out. So I'm starting over. So I opened it, but I wanted to show you my scissors. These are so cute. Oh, I just stabbed myself. Oh, so anyway, aren't these like the cutest things? They got like a, the animal print. You know, they kind of match. You know? And, um... I don't know, some people might know the brand here. It's very sharp. Ginger or Ginger or something like that. But anyway, these are from um, one of my co-workers. His mom had been in a nursing home for a long time and she uh, passed away a few years ago and these were her scissors. And then um, his dad passed away um, over the summer, last, last summer. And um, so he was, he's been out you know, trying to clean up the house and get the house up for sale and put some things in auction and give things out to family members. And he saw these and he said, yeah, these have Nancy's name written all over them. So I have got my animal print scissors. Yeah, I love these. They're very heavy and very sharp. So anyway, I had to open this and then go wash my hands, take a break, and here I am to show you. But I wanted to just show you how they package it because, um, you know, I've never had any problems with breakage for them. They um, de ship by UPS, and yes, I've never had any problems. But this is the t-shirt that I purchased. I might end up getting one of their sweatshirts. Wind down, purple toe. I just kind of thought this was kind of cute. I can see this maybe with the purple turtleneck under it. And then in the summer, I guess you don't need a turtleneck when it comes summer. And uh, so there's the inside with my three bottles. And they package these with these clear plastic. It's like a hard plastic. And there's all kinds of like little bumps and rivets. So it just formed to hold the wine perfectly in place. So there's one on the top and bottom. They just kind of go over them like, uh, like a puzzle. So I got three bottles. This is a new one. I've never had this one before. This is a Pacadua White. And it's a cross between Riesling and a Chardonnay. So it still has a sweetness of four, but it's listed in the uh, semi-dry or semi-sweet or dry. I don't know. One of those. And then, of course, I had to get the uh, Strawberry Jalapeno because I drank that one. Well, I still have that bottle, but... And this is really, really good. So this one has a sweetness of four and um, on this scale from one to five. And it's it's got that sweet strawberry, uh, and then but then it's got that zing, a little bit of heat from the jalapeno. And oh my gosh, that is good. So I, I've been having this with some cheese for snacks. Yeah, so good. And then this one I've had before, and this I liked it. And this one is a sweetness of four. And this is a, they call it honey mist. And this is a cross between blackberry and honey wine. Yeah, so it's really, really good. I love this. So anyway, I thought I might as well show you how to package it. And again, like I said, you got one on the top and one on the bottom. And it just holds them in place. It protects them. And yeah, so this came from Kentucky to Minnesota. It took two days to get here by UPS. And so happy about that. And yeah, so let's open one. And then I'll just have a toast to you guys for the weekend. And I hope everyone has, uh, it's been really, it's been, well, it hasn't really been warm. But we hit, I think we hit like 38 today. So it feels warm because, you know, we were like minus 30 the week before. All right, I hit my handy dandy wine opener here. So yes, I hope everyone is getting a chance to maybe get outside. I know with uh, the vaccines and things. I think someone said that you didn't put your name on a waiting list, so. I will probably try to do that. Maybe just I'll feel a little bit better about going out in public and things, but I will still be wearing my mask for a while, I think. Okay, so the purple tin line, right? I think more things are opening up, so I'm looking forward, you know, and I, I've always been kind of you about walking by myself outside in the neighborhood even though I mean it's your own neighborhood right and they got walking paths but I'm looking forward to when the nice weather comes to finally getting out getting some fresh air I'm just going for a walk yeah I'm looking forward to that 
So anyway, this is the honey mist. I hope everyone goes out and has a spectacular week and, and a great week next week. And yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. You mean the world to me. And I just can't thank you enough. Um, yeah, so a uh, thumbs up to you guys. And yeah, so we'll chat again soon, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I wish you were here to share it with me. And then we can open the coffee. Yeah, because I got coffee coming pretty soon. Alrighty, take care. Bye-bye.